Welcome back. Tragically Hip, final show of this tour taking place this Saturday night in Kingston, Ontario. Kamloops getting on board with a couple of live screenings. Joining us to talk about it, Jennifer Harbert, Canadian Cancer Society. Great to have you back on the show. Thanks for having us. And Angela Veltri, Kicks for Chicks and Brain Cancer Survivor. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So you know what's interesting to me is that I've had you on the show promoting Kicks for Chicks. Didn't know you had brain cancer. No. Nope. I mean, why? how would I? Right. But you're a survivor. Congratulations yeah. for that. Thank you. Five years. Five years. Tell me your story. I was diagnosed in 2012, so I was 31 years old. Um, kind of came out of the blue. I was um, just at my office job one day, had a seizure, ended up in Emerge, and they diagnosed a brain tumor. At first they thought it was a benign tumor. Um, had to have the brain surgery, though. Um, I was lucky because it was in an area of my brain that they could operate, so it was a left temporal lobe here. Um, some people aren't so lucky, they'll have it, you know, in the back or kind of, you know, near the um, back of the head and it's not that easy. So after the brain surgery, I had to move down to Kelowna to do my radiation. Um, and then I did my chemotherapy here in Kamloops. You had to move there to do it? I moved there. I stayed with family while I was there. Sure. But it was an eight week, like every day thing. And, yep. you know, when you're going through radiation, you're just, you're not at your best. Obviously, you're really fuzzy. You're tired all the time. Right. So you kind of wanted a place to go afterwards. And, and s some people commute. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for me, it was just easier to, to be there. And yeah. now you're healthy. You're, you're going on to have a baby. Congratulations. Thank you. Six months pregnant. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what kind kind of cancer, brain cancer, that Gore Downey suffers from, mm -hmm. but I'm sure when you heard that news, it probably struck a chord for you. It absolutely did, and I mean, like you said, it's, it's, it's been five years now, so I've kind of just gone on to live in my everyday life. I'm not the type of person to really dwell on anything. Same thing when I was diagnosed. Um, I wanted to look at the positive side of things as opposed to, I've got this disease, um, and as soon as you talk to anybody, when you say, hey, I have brain cancer, they automatically think, oh, that's a death sentence, and I got a lot of that. So I didn't want to focus on that mm -hmm. at all. Um, I was lucky that I had, um, you know, my my boyfriend at the time, who's now my husband. Um, family was amazing, and I had, um, you know, some doctors and some naturopaths in town too, who really supported me, uh, made me think positively throughout the whole thing, and I think that that really helped as well. Mm -hmm. um, whereas Gor Gordon Downey has a different type of cancer for me, but all brain cancer is it's it's devastating. Of course yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're one of the survivors. Thank you. Uh, it unfortunately doesn't sound like Gordon Downey is is lucky. Um, Mm -hmm. So a big, a big uh, send-off on Saturday night uh, in Kamloops. Definitely. Um, we were just discussing earlier today, it's amazing that he is even doing this. I because know. the diagnosis is horrific. Um, mm -hmm. It's very traumatizing for a family. And the fact that he wants to make a difference and create this legacy uh, that he leaves behind is astonishing. I mean, brain cancer research is largely underfunded. Um, it it can't continue without donations and this will be the largest influx of research money that we've ever seen at the Canadian Cancer Society for brain cancer so it's it's amazing I don't know the details that you do and so maybe you can bring me up to date is this is his entire tour is all the money going towards the Canadian Cancer Society or how's that working parts of it so he's uh, with the live screenings uh, so with the showcase the national showcase um, he's arranged with the the Cancer Society ha to have people uh, donate right at the concert mm -hmm. um, all of that money will go right to the fund that's in his name uh, specifically for brain cancer research so uh -huh. uh, that's that's the part that the band opened up um, nationally so that people could help fantastic mm -hmm. so this is taking place at McDonald Park and Riverside Park five o'clock is what time you're telling people to arrive 530 is the beginning of the concert what yeah. details uh, am I missing here? perfect so at McDonald Park it's we're kind of winding up after Overlanders Day um, the screening up 530 so come early get a good spot and enjoy the show at Riverside Park we have a beer garden we have some food there so it's it's a little <laughs> bit more of a if, if you want to rock out a little bit more and enjoy mm -hmm. the the, mm -hmm. the sound then come to Riverside Park mm -hmm. um, um, and it should last uh, about three hours. So this is a way you can help by using your phone and texting to give right to his fund. That's fantastic. So uh, McDonald Park, perhaps a little more family friendly. Riverside Park, maybe hang out with the friends if that's the way you want to go. Yep, definitely. Fantastic. It'll be a good time. Awesome. Angela, yeah. it's, uh, it's lovely that you're coming on to share your experience. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. You know, this yeah. is, like you said, underfunded. It's important for yeah. people to get on board. Mm -hmm. uh, bring a donation. Enjoy the evening. Thank you to the both of you for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. All right, quick break. We'll back, we're back in two minutes. Stay with us.